Annette Funicello, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, left an enduring impact on many through her works. Whether it's a particular moment that resonates with you or a cherished memory associated with her, Funicello's contributions to the entertainment industry have left a lasting mark. We invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor in the comments below. Stay tuned as there are funny, shocking, and sad facts about her coming up. Keep watching for more insights into the life of this iconic figure. Annette Funicello, a prominent figure in Hollywood, left an enduring impact on the film industry during her era and beyond. Recognized as one of the most memorable Mouseketeers on the Mickey Mouse Club in the 1950s, she seamlessly transitioned from television to film, becoming a symbol of the wholesome American girl next door. Her debut in a series of beach party films in the 1960s solidified her status as a teen idol. Beyond her on-screen presence, Funicello's influence expanded as she navigated the shifting dynamics of the industry, defying stereotypes and embracing roles that challenged conventional expectations. Her ability to connect with audiences and adapt to evolving cinematic trends showcased versatility. Moreover, the impact extended beyond acting roles, with contributions to breaking barriers for women in the industry. A trailblazer, Funicello paved the way for actresses to explore diverse roles and perspectives. The enduring legacy lies not only in the filmography, but also in the ability to resonate with audiences across generations. The influence is evident in the continued appreciation for the work and the lasting impact on the trajectory of Hollywood. In conclusion, the contributions to the film industry, marked by versatility, breaking stereotypes, and a trailblazing spirit, have left an indelible mark on Hollywood, shaping its landscape during the era and beyond. The significance in the history of American cinema is a testament to the influence as an actress and a symbol of cultural change. Annette Funicello, a prominent figure in the entertainment industry, received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6834 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California on September 14, 1993. Her rise to fame began as she quickly became the most popular among the Mouseketeers, leading to her own series, Annette, within the Mickey Mouse Club. Disney capitalized on her popularity, engaging in merchandising ventures such as comic books and hardback books. In the musical realm, she achieved her biggest hit single with Tall Paul, reaching seven on the U.S. pop charts in 1959. Later, success followed Wood with Pineapple Princess, peaking at 11 on the U.S. pop charts in the summer of 1960. This overview highlights key milestones in her career, from the Hollywood Walk of Fame recognition to achievements within the Mickey Mouse Club and success in the music industry. Stay tuned for more insights into the life and career of this celebrated entertainer. Annette Funicello, recognized for her contributions to the entertainment industry, played a significant role alongside Frankie Avalon in 11 films, including Beach Party, Bikini Beach, and Back to the Beach. In her early beach movie days, Walt Disney, mindful of her public image, requested that she opt for a one-piece swimsuit over a bikini and agreement she upheld. Adding a familial note to her legacy, her son, Jason Hilati, serves as the drummer for the rock band Caroline Spine. Additionally, he appeared in her biopic, A Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes, The Annette Funicello Story. This insight into Funicello's filmography and family connections sheds light on different facets of her career and personal life. Stay tuned for more perspectives on this celebrated entertainer. The eldest among the Mouseketeers in the Mickey Mouse Club, Annette Funicello's journey in the spotlight began with a distinctive presence. As she entered adolescence during the show's run, her physical development became noticeable, becoming a memorable aspect encapsulated by her Mouseketeer sweater. Widely acknowledged as the first crush for many boys in the baby boomer generation, she left an indelible mark. In a candid 2020 interview, she shared her unique perspective on securing the role as a Mouseketeer. When asked about it, Funicello straightforwardly stated, I was the ethnic one. Everybody else looked like I wanted to look my entire life, blue-eyed and freckle-faced. This glimpse into her early career highlights the distinctive qualities that set her apart. Adding a familial dimension to her legacy, she became the mother-in-law of John Portman. This lesser-known aspect provides a nuanced view into her personal life, expanding beyond well-documented professional achievements. From her early days as a Mouseketeer to her distinctive role within the entertainment industry, Funicello's story is one of uniqueness and influence reaching beyond the screen and into the lives of those who admired her. 
Stay tuned for more insights into the life and career of this celebrated entertainer. Annette Funicello, known for her distinct contributions to the entertainment industry, had a notable affinity for the television series Zorro. Walt Disney, recognizing her admiration, orchestrated a special birthday surprise, arranging for her guest appearance in an episode of the series. In 1977, Funicello took on the role of the Blue Fairy in Disneyland's Main Street Electrical Parade, showcasing her versatility beyond her iconic filmography. Notably, during her involvement in various beach pictures for American International Pictures, she navigated contractual complexities with Disney. Under contract to Disney, she participated in AIP films on a loan-out basis, a fact regularly emphasized by Walt Disney. Further underscoring her diverse career, Funicello portrayed the Blue Fairy and navigated contractual intricacies in the world of entertainment. These facets add depth to her legacy, showcasing her multifaceted talents. Stay tuned for more insights into the lesser-known aspects of this celebrated entertainer. Following her passing, Annette Funicello was cremated and laid to rest at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Los Angeles, California. Her departure occurred four days after the film critic Roger Ebert, both enduring years of being unable to eat, drink, and speak. Born in 1942, they shared the same birth year and departed at the age of 70. She is survived by her children, namely Gina Portman, Jack Hilardi Jr., and Jason Hilardi. The latter notably serves as the drummer for the rock band Caroline Spine and appeared in his mother's biopic, A Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes, the Annette Funicello story. This glimpse into her final resting place shared fate with Roger Ebert and the surviving children provides a poignant perspective on the later years of this celebrated entertainer's life. Stay tuned for more insights into Annette Funicello's journey and impact on the entertainment industry. Annette Funicello, a distinctive figure in the entertainment industry, initially considered changing her Italian family name to something more American when starting work for Disney. However, Walt Disney vehemently opposed this idea, recognizing the uniqueness of her name as an asset that would be unforgettable to audiences. This early decision set the tone for her career. Born to Joe and Virginia Funicello, she carried her family name proudly throughout her life. Beyond her family background, her personal life intersected with the world of music when Paul Anka penned the song Puppy Love inspired by their romance, adding a layer of complexity to her public image. These personal anecdotes provide a nuanced understanding of her journey. The decision to retain her name, familial roots, and connection to the iconic song Puppy Love offer a glimpse into the less explored facets of her life. These elements, alongside achievements in entertainment, contribute to a comprehensive portrayal of the celebrated entertainer. Stay tuned for more insights into her life and impact on the entertainment industry. At 17, Annette Funicello earned the title Sweetheart of the San Fernando Valley Mayors at the grand opening of Tambor Restaurant in Tarzana on May 2, 1957. Jimmy Jackson, a family friend, orchestrated this honor, gathering honorary mayors from his show Memory Lane. Covered by the Valley News and Los Angeles Times, she was escorted by J.P. Sloan, later appearing with them in an evening at the Inn. Facing adversity in March 2011, a home fire left Annette and her husband hospitalized for smoke inhalation. In November 1999, she underwent brain surgery to address tremors from multiple sclerosis, recovering at home. These events offer a unique perspective on her life, showcasing resilience and overcoming challenges. Stay tuned for more insights into Annette Funicello's journey and impact on the entertainment industry. In 1987, diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, she maintained a private battle against the disease. Concealing her condition, she eventually chose to disclose it publicly, countering speculations that her impaired ability to walk stemmed from alcoholism. With two brothers, Michael and Joey Funicello, her family played a significant role in her life. Despite the challenges she faced, her personal struggles remained largely unknown until she decided to confront the rumors surrounding her health. Remarkably, she passed away on the same day as Margaret Thatcher, adding a poignant layer to the timeline of her life. The coincidence of their deaths offers a unique perspective on the interconnectedness of events. These lesser-known aspects of her life shed light on the resilience and challenges Annette Funicello faced. From concealing her health condition to the ties with her brothers and the unexpected synchronicity with historical figures, her journey unfolds with both struggles and unforeseen connections. 
Stay tuned for more insights into the life and impact of this celebrated entertainer.